Hi guys and girls, my name is Dan from GeekChronicles.ro and today I'm gonna show you how you can maintain your Bamboo Lab A1 or Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, the printer here in my case. But also I must say that some of the tips here apply to a wide variety of FDM printers because some of them use similar working principles so you can take the tips and I'm showing you here and apply it to your own 3D printer. I'm gonna divide this clip in three parts. The first part is cleaning, the second part is more focused on lubrication and the third part it's more focused on enhancements. So let's start. In terms of cleaning, the most important thing that you should do on a regular basis on your 3D printer, it's clean the linear rails of dust. To clean your rails, you can use a microfiber cloth, a tack cloth, even some paper towels that are lint free. This is very important because you don't want to leave any residue on the rails. Not that it will really affect in the short term your printer's performance but in the long term this the small particles can get clogged inside of the bearing and make the bearing suffer in terms of the fluidity of the motion and also it makes the bearing prone to get uh, degraded faster over time you just scrub the rails really really good and also in the case of the linear rail you will have here like a small groove that is recommended to use a plastic bristle brush or a clean toothbrush and just scrub that groove so you get all the dirt out and then with the microfiber clean it really well from there and also you can do that on the other side of the linear rail exactly the same thing I will do on this rail firstly firstly I'm gonna clean it like this then I will move, move the head down and continue my cleaning so I will be able to clean the last part of the linear rail also from time to time it's really advised to use like a compressed air spray and clean inside your fans because over time it accumulates dust and dirt this is the way you can do that hold the fan with uh, your finger so the fan doesn't spin also unplug your printer because you don't want to introduce current in ways that it's not really recommended to be introduced and then just spray it and this is the second fan now it's also a great time to inspect your belts make sure that there isn't any big debris that maybe stick on the belt or something or under the belt and now also clean your lead screws with the towel because you can see here a lot of grime and dirt can accumulate over time now in terms of uh, lubrication you can use a wide variety of oil and greases but from what I've read online and from my experience with other mechanical parts one of the best lubricants that I use and swear by it is let me see if I can get it in the frame it's really impossible from this angle let me zoom out a bit it's white lithium grease with PTFE and why is that? because in comparison with let's say blue lithium grease or even red lithium grease this grease has a different density so let me spray it a bit on my hand you should really do that but I will do it for the purposes of this video so if you can see it here on my hand the grease it's almost like an oil in terms of the consistency and maybe it's a little bit hard to see on the camera but the consistency is similar to an oil but because it's a grease it has better lubrication 
and also it has PTFE part particles in it that also aid with the lubrication so on my printer I'm gonna use this type of um, grease and the next part is to spray on two or maybe three different points on the screw just a tiny bit of grease and move the head up and down a few times to lubricate it as uniformly as possible and and the last step using a dry uh, microfiber cloth wipe out the excess and that should be it now I'm gonna wipe the excess from the case because I don't need lubrication in the case I can already see the screw getting lubricated I will move again the z-axis up the really nice thing about white lithium PTFE grease is so light that it's almost like an oil but also it provides the advantages of grease because the density is a little bit higher in comparison to an oil so it provides better lubrication and also dirt it sticks to it but harder in comparison to a thicker grease that you may use in uh, bearings in conventional bearings you must know that you need to spray it inside of this groove on the bottom side there are the contact points of the linear rail just finished the Z axis and the X axis now I'm gonna focus on the Y here you only need to apply the loop on this part move it a few times my camera just died and I changed the frame but now let's talk about the next subject now let's talk about some modifications that you can do to your 3D printer these modifications are strictly meant for the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini but I guess you can take some inspiration from it and adapt it to your own printer I guess the first thing that I printed when I uh, got the printer was this strain really for uh, the cable and also I've printed another one that looks something like this it's made from PLA it's somewhat flexible but not quite as flexible as ABS or even PTG but it works for now and uh, when it will break eventually I will uh, print it again in another material another mod that you can do to your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini and also Bamboo Lab A1 are these cable clips makes the cable management situation around this area a little bit more tight and neat at least in my opinion the next thing that I've added to my printer is this I don't know how to call it maybe cable management thingy it's made from ABS or at least from some sort of plastic that is really flexible and it's usually wrapped around electric cables or core cables to make them a little bit to make them more organized I wrapped it around these two cables and it protects them from this sharp part right here and when the cables do inevitably hit this part, this uh, edge, they make less of a noise. I mean, the noise wasn't that bad or something, but again, my rationale is that this sleeve that doesn't look really that pretty will bring, will bring my cables some extra protection. Now, the last and final mod that I did to my printer, it will be right here this is a different print bed from the 
stock one, the stock print bed. I have it here. It's nothing wrong with it by any means. Uh, it's just that the pattern I wanted a different pattern. So I decided to order another print bed from AliExpress, print plate from AliExpress. It was like super cheap, something like 10 euros, something like that, shipped, which is great. And it has this really interesting pattern. It matches the structure of a diamond. It's smooth. And uh, from my experience, the prints uh, they're really good on it and also they don't come off and what's nice about this uh, plate and also other uh, similar print plates that uh, I found on the seller's page I will leave a link in the description below is that it's double-sided and this side you have this really cool carbon fiber look come on camera focus and here you have this interesting diamond pattern look which is really cool but it also transfers to the print which again i think it's cool not that useful or practical but cool it looks cool if you are interested in printing the models or get the print plates i will leave links in the description down below also if you enjoyed the video leave it a like subscribe and i guess you can figure out the rest until next time Bye and have a great weekend, at least in my case.